Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on some of the clay masks that I have been using. Uh, let me start out with one that I have been using for a long time and love a lot. It's the Origins um, Clear Improvement. This is the Active Charcoal Mask and it clears pores. This is really good for acne, oily skin, and I notice if I sometimes put it around the spots that I'm breaking out, it really helps to heal it much faster. The thing with this mask is kind of hard to put on. Um, it kind of just, when you spread it, it kind of just moves about. I mean, that's just my own um, personal experience. And it does come out this grayish color and it'll dry hard and then you'll know that's when you should wash it off. And other than that, it's it's a really good mask. I mean, the way I look at it is I just try to put on like multiple layers to kind of cover up areas that still kind of, you know, not cover completely. And this is a new one that I have tried once. This is the Michael Todd True Organic uh, Carolyn Clay. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Uh... At first, I thought this was also kind of a grayish mask, but I guess this is a Carolyn clay, not a charcoal. So it's not so much gray. It's actually more like um, nude colored or skin toned when you um, when you get it out of the tube. There you go. So it almost looked like a um, foundation color, so I was kind of surprised by that. But this is much easier to spread around on my face and it's it almost doesn't have too much of a color which is fine with me. And what I noticed is after it dried I wash off I feel my skin was very very clean. clean. It just seems to clean it really really deeply. And it's also supposed to be good for oily and acne prone skin. I haven't used it for too long to tell you if it's really good for acne. But I feel like it is. I mean, you just feel like your skin is super clean. And the first time I use this, or the first few times I use this, this actually does tingle. But then after I use it more, I just get used to it. I don't feel tingly anymore. And this doesn't make me feel tingly or anything like this. Uh, but I just do really feel like it does a great job cleansing or removing any impurities. And the last but not least is this Lush um, Cupcake Mask. That also has some sort of mud in it that I can't pronounce. And it also has uh, cocoa powder and then spearmint and then sandalwood oil for softening and balancing your skin this is also good for acne and oily um skin so these are all like the three that i mentioned today are all relatively good for the same thing but just like a different format and this one i used it once it i might just show you a clip of me trying to put it on it was kind of hard to spread it again like the like this one and it gets kind of chalky as you try to move it about and um and then the pieces kind of you know get gritty or maybe they're too cold and frozen I, I don't really know but um it's good it really does a good job clean, cleansing my face but i don't really notice it doing too too much um i feel like because this is kind of pricey and you only supposed to use it till like whenever it expires so and you don't get that much product you know for the price uh, I mean, the one thing that I would say is really, really good about this mask is that it smells wonderful. It looks like this, and it just smells like chocolate. So, I guess if that's what you're into, it really smells good. But, I mean, I do like it, but it's just so hard to get. You have to get it in stores, and it has to be fresh, and you can only use it for like a week or two, and... Because of all those reasons, I don't really highly recommend this. I mean, if you can get your hands on it, it's a good mask. But I feel like um, these two kind of does the job as well. I don't feel like the cupcake mask really stands out that much. Um, I mean, it's a good mask, but it's not like outstanding and it's so hard to get. So I would say my favorite of all time is still Origins. It's just I feel like it really really um it just really helps with acne and it really kind of just 
clears your skin if that makes sense so i really really highly recommend this and then i would say the second best one is this i haven't used it for too long but i really do feel like this cleans my face very well and i i do highly recommend it i feel like there's also a lot of other organic ingredients in this that makes it like extra kind of cleansing and healing and all those things let's see there's switch hazel there is green tea leaf extract there's olive leaf extract there's just so many other good ingredients in this i mean there's a lot of good ingredients in this too but i just i wasn't wowed by it i guess i mean it's it's a nice mask it smells good it's fun to try but you know but it's just it's just hard to get your hands on it and you have to keep a refrigerator you have to use it you know before a certain date so all those reasons I don't really recommend so my favorite is this one and then this one okay so I hope that covers everything I have to say about uh, my current favorite clay masks at this point and thumbs up if you like this video and I'll be back to um, shoot more videos lately I have a lot of um, skincare products coming up uh, that I want to talk about all right I'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe and like bye